yeah, primary mathematics again. So we're going to do primary mathematics. Multiplication and division of whole numbers. Okay. Okay, this is my name. The equation below shows the division of number A. Shows the division of number A by number B. The quotient is C and the remainder is D. All the numbers A, B, C and D are whole numbers. So... In that case, it is A divided by B equals C remainder D. Which of the following sentences is true? A. Remainder D cannot be zero. If it cannot be zero, that means... It's not true actually, because if it cannot be zero, it means it is... It, of course, it can be zero. Yeah, it can be zero. Because if it's zero, it means there's no. Means there's no remainder. Okay? Means there's no remainder. Okay, so this is wrong. Because this can be zero. B. Remainder D is equal to number B. If it's equal means it can be further divided. And for C, you can add 1. Add 1 to C. So, it can't be equal to number B. Because that means there's no remainder also, right? Because if it's equal, remainder D will go that will remainder D will be 1 and it will plus 1 to C so this means no remainder okay no remainder so this is wrong remainder D must be less than number B less than number B if it's less that means it's like 10 divided by 3 equals 3 remainder 1. This is less than 3. 1 is less than 3. Then we have 15 divided by 6 equals 2 remainder 3. So this 3 is less than 6. It's, this is less than this. Less. So this is actually true. Remainder D must be greater than number B. If it's greater, it can be further divided. Like, um, if we put 15, okay, 10, okay. For example, 10 divided by 3 again, okay, equals 2. Then there'll be a remainder of four. Okay, let me rewrite that because okay. Okay, if ten is divided by three, then you put two remainder four. If it's bigger, it still can be divided. Because this three, there's still one more in four. Because in four, there's still one more three. So this is this means it can be further divided. So, divided. So in this case, this is also wrong. And the only tip we have is C. Put C. Okay. So the answer is C. Because A, there will be no remainder. B, there will be also no remainder. C is correct. And D can be further divided. So, the, in that case, the answer is C. Get to the next question. 
When a number is divided by 18, it gives a quotient of 241 and a remainder of 7. What is the number? So, if we want to write this in a mathematical statement, okay, it will be, oops, it's a little, okay, when a mystery number is divided by 7, if it did not divide by 7, so when the number is divided by 18, it gives a quotient of 241, remainder of 7. What is the number? So when a number, a mystery number, is divided by 18, it gives a quotient of 241 and a remainder of 7. We have this. How can we find out? I have this method that is called the best friend or buddy method. So if... If this state, mathematical statement is division, we will use multiplication to reverse the statement or check your work to, to find out the whole. So it's like division and multiplication, multiplication and division are buddies. Because when we use multiplication, we use division to check our work and reverse the statement. So if we use subtraction, subtraction we use add to check or reverse the statement if we use addition we use um, subtraction to check our work and to reverse the statement so in this case there is a division statement so we use multiplication to check the work or reverse now we want to reverse the statement so we use multiplication so we take these two and multiply. 241 times 18. Okay, so 1 times 8. Okay, first we use the 8. Don't bother about the 1. We focus on the 8. 1 times 8. Pretend the 1's not even there. 1 times 8 is 8. 4 times 8 is 32, 2 times 8 is 16, 16 plus 3 is 19. So we have 1928, 1928. Next, we don't bother about the 8 and we focus on the 1. 1, okay, we put a 0 under the 8. So it's like a 0 here, okay? When you, when you do two digit multiplication, you always have to put a zero under. You always have to put a zero first. So first we, now we bother about the, now we focus on the one. One times one is one. One times four is four. And one times two is two. Okay, 2,410. Now we add these two numbers together, 1,928 plus 2,410. 8 plus 0 is an 8. 2 plus 1 is a 3. 9 plus 4. 9 plus 4 is a 13. And 2 plus 1 is a 3. 3 plus 1 is a 4. So we have 4, 3, 3, 8. So 4, 3, 3, 8, what do we do with this remainder 7 over here? We add it back to 4,338. So we have 4,338 plus 7. Oops, I did multiplication so 8 plus okay plus 8 plus 7 is a 15 okay 
3 plus 3 plus 1 is a 4. 3 plus 0 is a 3. And 4 plus 0 is a 4. So the answer is 4, 3, 4, 5. So, this mystery number is found out now. Now it is. Now we have no more mystery number. Four. Three, four, five. Okay, so if you want to check your work, you can go ahead, use a piece of paper and a pen. And you can retry this question, maybe. And then you can find out whether this answer is correct or you can you can create your own question. Like when a number is divided by 28, it gives a quotient of 8042 and then remainder of. You can make questions like that and just try it out. So in this case, the answer is 4,345. And I hope you can make use of this method, the best friend or buddy method, to do this type of question or check your work. Because checking your work is the most important thing in the exam. When you finish. Okay. So hope you had fun watching me teach you this um, two questions. I know it's quite short, but there was there is always next time to look forward to and there's other subjects like science and english to watch too so hope you had fun and hope you're interested to watch more videos thank you and goodbye